My guest today is the man when it comes to proxy design and corporate communications. Ian Poole is one of the first to enter the proxy design profession over a decade and a half ago. He saw something that few of us did. He's a managing director for Argyle, a shop that specializes in proxy design with many former in-house lawyers on his team. I've known Ian a long time. We worked together 20 years ago at R.R. Donnelly, and he really knows his stuff, as you'll soon see. Not only that, he's a great friend, a thoughtful person, and has a broad worldview due to his international background and experience. I'm Brock Romanek, today on Zippy Point. So Ian, let's talk about the covers, and perhaps you can walk us through uh, a variety of things that can be used to, to highlight what a company wants. Absolutely. So no page in a proxy statement should be blank. I mean, companies are paying to have every single page printed. So there's an opportunity to tell a story throughout. Um, my old boss back at Labrador, Laurent, used to tell me that when you place a document face down, you see the back cover and that that is one of the most valuable pages of real estate in, in advertising for magazines. So back when I was sitting at the Coca-Cola company's reception in 2011, I was looking at screens with marketing and key messages. And I recall we went up and sat down in front of Jared, Gloria and Jane, laid down their proxy statement and the back cover was blank and said, you know, what a great opportunity to, to talk to your investors. So what the Coca-Cola company did was say thank you for, for being a share owner of the Coca-Cola company. And that started a trend. And now pretty much every year you see more and more companies using the back cover, the inside front cover, the inside back cover of their document to communicate, to tell a story. So we've got a few examples here of, um, of what different companies are doing in that space. We hear a lot as well, Brock, about companies concerned about printing on lighter weight paper. Some of these documents are printed on 27 or 35 pound paper. And so long as the ink coverage isn't too heavy, um, Shother isn't an issue, particularly if it's presented on, um, uh, on, uh, printed on a heat set web, excuse me. So these are inside front covers. So a popular theme is who we are and what we do as a company. So Sanmina, we just talked about page mailching and revamping their proxy statement this year. I really like not only this overview of Sanmina Corporation and what, what they do, but this thoughtful presentation of the company's competitive strengths, what makes it unique. So inside front cover, ordinarily blank, some marketing images, highlights about what the company does, and key competitive strengths. This is something that you begin a document and it really makes it feel like a document that's intended to be read. Um, unlike those old proxy statements that have the notice on the front cover printed only in black, but perhaps the company logo. Walmart, similar approach, um, what the company does, the company's values, where to go to learn more. So a really vibrant, high energy beginning to the document, again, that makes you want to go on and read some more. So another thing that companies are doing, um, I believe this is CVS Health's back cover. Um, the company lays out a roadmap for transforming health in 20, by 2030. Awards and recognitions is something that we're seeing more and more companies present in their documents, as well as CSR achievements in the course of the year. ESG is a whole theme in proxy statements, and a number of companies present um, achievements, and inside back cover or back cover is an ideal way to do that. So Tree, Treehouse Foods, a fantastic company up in Chicago that prepares a lot of the uh, the, the ready prepared foods at Trader Joe's that, uh, that we all enjoy and a number of other retailers. They use the inside front cover of their document to tell their ESG story. They highlight some of the achievements from the past three years. So again, leaving no page blank and getting right in front of readers with their ESG highlights as soon as they open up the document. Southern Company uses the inside front cover to talk about their values um, and then provides further detail around their strategy underneath decarbonization efforts and their aim to provide a, a low carbon future um, with their objectives uh, laid out in graphic form. 
Um, and then we have Walgreens Boots Alliance really laying the foundation for the document with their vision, purpose, and values from the very inside front cover, which is a great place to put these messages as an anchor for the content that follows. So a couple of um, final examples that, that are helpful as well, GE and Cognizant provide helpful resources on the inside back cover of their document. So one can imagine those readers that have read your proxy statement from A to Z and um, arrived at the inside back cover, hungry for more information, both of these documents provide further links to financial reports, information about the board and other subjects, on um, GE and Cognizance websites respectively. So my advice would be to leave no page blank in your proxy statement. That's great advice. So other videos by, with Ian's incredible advice, you can search YouTube with the hashtags of hashtag proxy design and hashtag zippy point, or just go to zippypoint.com and look for the videos there. Thank you. <laughs>